Uh, Ross, first of all, we're promoting the Pay What You Can offer, another uh, ticket initiative by the club, uh, one that I'm, I'm assuming you and the rest of the players are, are, are behind as well. Absolutely, yeah. Um, it's a great scheme for the for the club to try and, and do. Um, I think the club tried it in League in League Two. Is it um, Rovers? Was it? I think you tried it, and it was a success for them. Um, great idea to, to try and get as many uh, many fans through the turnstiles and, um, and 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 go from there really to try and uh, increase attendance as, as a whole for the for the future for the club. The aim obviously to, is to try and get as many folk along with the on as possible as well. But it'd be good to get perhaps some new fans as well, and, and obviously you know you guys will probably put on a. A show for them as well. That's the plan, yeah. Um, obviously, with the you know with, over the next five or ten years, I think you've got a new generation of fans coming through, and um, the club have seen that, and it's, it's trying to get them in early doors and and, uh, and get parents to take the to, to take the kids to um, to games sooner rather than later. We know it's a we know as players it's, it's an expensive um, expensive day out at times for, in general for to go and watch your local team. Um, I had to do when I was, you know, my dad took me when I was a young kid. So um, we can only really encourage encourage uh, families to, to do that, and hopefully it's beneficial for for the young ones as well to watch to watch games from a from a young age. So it's a great scheme for the club, and, and like I said, hopefully it's uh, beneficial for the for the club as a whole. It's still a week away, of course. There's a couple of well, there's a game in between times, and January has been a, a busy month overall, but, but quite a good month for the club. Yeah, started a new well new year brilliantly. Um, couldn't have asked for. For three better results, really um, tough games as well. In terms of, you know, you had the derby match and, and, and Saint Mirren scrapping for their lives, and Kilmarnock and no mugs to, to go down there, especially with with ten men after you know just after half time. It's great comeback from the boys, great performance from from everyone involved, and um, um, up, probably up there as, as one of the best of our, of our season in, in terms of you know it's a plastic pitch. We're not used to it, um, obviously with the sending off and to, to come back and and win the game with. Um, with well, a terrific performance was was pleasing for all, and, and I'm sure the gaffer was happy as well. We know all about the, the character in the, in the dressing room, but I think Saturday epitomised that. You know, as you say, plastic pitch, difficult weather conditions as yeah. well. The sending off just half, after half time, but to get back into the game and, and score, well, Billy scored two wonderful goals as well. Yeah. It really was a, a fantastic uh, afternoon. Absolutely, probably like I said, probably one of our better ones all season in, in terms of all everything that didn't really go our way. Um, but you know, like I think the gaffers come out and said that when you when you've got Billy in the team, you've, you've you've always got a chance. You know, he's been he's been brilliant all season. Um, got a little little bit of stick early early doors when when goals weren't really um, coming his way. But he, he's just shown that he, you know he only needs half a yard and um, the, f- the first one over the over the guy's head, and then his composure to put it away. And the second one link up with Nick Ross was was brilliant. So um, those two were was particularly brilliant all all, all, all game. And um, like you said, it, it shows the character of. Um, not just individuals, but the the whole squad as a, as a general, and it, it was a great result for for all the boys. And for yourself to get back into the, the starting eleven as well, Greg Tanzi signed a new contract at the, the start of the week, and I spoke to him uh, last Monday about you know your kind of partnership, and it looks like you and Greg are kind of developing a, a nice partnership in midfield there. Yeah, he's um, he's good to he's good to play with Tanz. He's um, he's got good energy, goes up and down. You know, he he, he does a lot of my running to be honest. Um, but it's you know technically he's, a, he's 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 well gifted and and he strikes a great ball. You seen that on Saturday with um, he nearly added another one to his his account. So um, uh, he's, he's he's good to work with and hopefully that um, with him signing a new deal with we're we'll certainly together for the next for the next year and a half. So um, like you said, hopefully that can turn into something to something good and um, I've enjoyed it so far. So yeah. Still got another four games to go in January. It feels incredible the the month we've had two away games, two Saturdays and a. And then we've got the home games to come as well with St Johnston and Ross County. But Dundee United on on Saturday mm-hmm. first up another trip to the A9. And having watched them um, last night, yeah. it's going to be a real tough game again. But I'm sure that everyone's looking forward to. It. Yeah, it's one of those games you, you look forward to. It's um, watched a little bit of their game last night, and it was two good teams really battling it out. It was uh, shows on why they're both up there on merit. Um, they've got a lot of young players Dundee United and. Um, Certainly, they do that year after year, where they bring players through. So um, exciting players, um, good technically. So it's it's going to be a tough game. Um, we we came out on top uh, early on in the season down here. It was um, it's a lot. Of, you know, it was a big slog for the boys. We managed to come out one 0 winners. So we're looking to do to do the same. Um, but I'm sure with a good result behind them, they'll 
they'll be looking to do the same. So uh, hopefully it's a great game for everyone. Paradise is a good venue to go to as well. I think we won down there last year with a yeah. four-all draw two seasons ago yeah. as well. So good memories of going down there. And it's a top of the table tussle as well. So it's, it's going to be a, a cracking game I for both sets of fans. Yeah, I think so. I think it's it's two good footballing teams, and um, then that can only that can only be a good thing. Really, it's. Um, it beats you know long ball and, and scrapping and fighting. It's it's going to be two two teams play attractive football. So um, it'll be a good one for for the neutral. Um, hopefully, like I said, we can go down there and, and continue our good form early doors in, in this new year and, and come back with three points. Sure, no worries. Thanks, Sam. Sam. Sure.